What the heck are you? I have never seen you before. Whoa, it, I thought I'd one hit, one hit it for sure, but this thing has a lot of damage. What the heck? Hey, 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 welcome back to another Scramblecraft episode. Guys, we are on the verge of a mega war on Scramblecraft. It's going to be the biggest war the world has ever seen. This isn't going to be just like any other Scramblecraft war. Oh, no, no, no. This war is going to have no rules. That's right. Anything goes. All your superhero powers, all your superhero armors, whatever you want to use. I just can't sit a bolt of lightning down here because I'm the god of thunder. Also known as um, Thor. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to be complete chaos, guys. And that's what we want. There's going to be crashes. There's going to be explosions. There's going to be... Now, the war is going to be Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. I'm so excited for it. Cody... Cannibal and myself are going to be battling at it out like crazy and we have some awesome strategies and what we're going to be doing today is preparing for that battle. I need to do some tests because apparently great blades do not work against players which I forgot about so that's going to be an interesting factor. We cannot use like our Millennium Great Blade. We cannot use our God's Great Blade, Millennium Great Blade, Underworld Great Blade, all of them can't use. But I do have this sword right here called the Knight's Guard. And to my knowledge, it's not a Great Blade because it doesn't say it in the title of it. I don't know. Um, it goes along with my Knight Armor set, so it might theoretically be considered a, a Great Blade. It just doesn't have it in the name of it. But it says it doubles as a shield. It does 27.5 attack damage, which, I mean, in Crazy Craft, that wouldn't be that good. But in Scramblecraft, that's that's a pretty good sword. So, you know what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to teleport to Cody or Mike uh, pretty soon here. And we're just going to have to test it out on them. But we have a lot of other work to do besides that. So, the first thing I want to do today is actually going to be doing the fan of the day. So, congratulations to Isaac Gladden. You are the fan of the day, and you received the candy armor set. Now, we only have one piece to this candy armor set so far, but I have a feeling it's going to be a pretty cool one. I like how it goes from pink, and then you put it on there, it's like blue. I don't know why they don't always match, like, what they look like in your hand, but it's kind of funny. Yeah, it turns from pink to blue. There we go. And what does it actually do? Automatically consumes food when needed. Per piece worn. Reduce time between consumptions. Full set bonus instant food consumption. So it's actually very <laughs> cool because before these pieces used to only give you a full set bonus like this one. Saves runes. Okay, re requires uh, one less of each rune. I could probably use some of these armors during the fight. But if you've been watching, uh, you know I have three armor pieces that I'm definitely wearing. The only thing I'm missing is boots. So we're going to have to find a good pair of boots to wear. What does this one do? Briefly stuns melee attackers. 2.5% chance per piece worn. That's actually pretty cool. So I didn't realize that some of these actually have like individual armor piece chances. So that's, that's pretty awesome. Oh, well, that's creation one. So, yeah, I'm probably going to have to take a look at all the different boots. And I'll let you know if I find anything that's worth using. Okay, guys, so these are the three that I kind of narrowed it down to. The weakened boots, 17.5% chance to weaken melee attackers. Um, and then the mercurial boots, 15% resistance to explosive damage in case one of them has, like, rockets or grenades or something. And then the lindamite boots, which is 25% chance to set melee attackers on fire i have a feeling those might be the best or the weakened boots because the explosions i feel like it's probably not gonna happen unless they have like a tfg and that's probably gonna kill me anyways because that's essentially a nuke in a battle uh in a bottle and yeah they just like the tfg is crazy so i have one of those and we're going to be using that as well but if you get a direct hit man that's a good explosion and i don't know if it's going to help us that much uh, which one do i want to weaken the enemy or do i want to set them on fire i probably want to set it on fire and it's a 25 percent chance that's what we're going with 
And I will show you guys our full getup at the end of this video because I already have some epic items that we're going to be using. And it's just going to be insane. It's going to be super hard to decide what I want to bring because I only have nine spots for my hot bar. I mean, I can have some stuff up here, but I'm not going to be able to access it super fast. I mean, obviously, we're going to have the Infinity Gauntlet. Obviously, we're going to have a Cloud Pet. So that's two gone right there. Oh, I was going to look at my pets to see what I have, but I forgot. Apparently, Cody hid them in my wall somewhere under the stairs. I'm going to have to do some recon and find it. He used rats to steal my items. But let's see what we have in the go chest for these pets. We have the Juggernaut pet, which gives invulnerability for one minute. I forgot about that horse. I think that Juggernaut pet might come in handy. Or the Nether Portal pet if we need a quick escape. No, I already have an idea for a quick escape, and you guys are going to love it. It involves... um. It involves watermelons. <laughs> now, because this is a no rules battle, that includes causing crashes. So I'm going to try to find my... Some of you might even already know what I'm looking for. But if you don't, it is a very powerful staff. And it's one of these. It's actually called the Gap of the Gathering. So I just searched it up in... I, I press Y... It should tell us where it is, and boom, there it is. So, this item is extremely great for getting brand new items. It auto harvests uh, crops that are you're in range of. So, if we come over here, it might work on these. I don't know if it'll work on the sugar cane, but yep. Uh, yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about auto harvest things. And if I use it in combination with my Infinity Dauntlet. I can cause an instant crash. And you guys, if you've been watching like every episode, you've seen it before. You know the damage this thing can cause. And it's complete chaos. So yeah, that's gonna be like if I if I start losing, I'm going to just like instantly uh put a bunch of melons down using the infinity gauntlet, crash the server, and then hopefully like regroup, figure out a plan while the server's coming back up. And th that's all totally legal. I said there is zero rules in this thing, and everybody agreed to it, so it's going to be exciting to see what happens and what kind of strategies Cody and Mike will come up with. So one thing I'm going to have to make sure I do is have the melons pre-copied on my Infinity Gauntlet when we go into the war. So that way I can quickly, and it's going to have to be quick if I'm, if I'm really losing that bad. I'll have to have the gaff near it, but I can quickly uh, shift and place the melons everywhere. And if I place enough of them and use this gap, it should cause a crash. Let, let's try it. Let's see if we can get the crash. Oh, yeah. We got the crash. So, I, right now, Cody and Mike are on the server. So, they're going to know I caused the crash. This is just testing. All right. I'll be right back as soon as we get the server up. Hey, Cody. Uh, just quick question. Did you guys crash? Yeah. I, I can't He's guilty start. already. Okay. Okay. Good. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. I'm just testing Wait. something. What, what were you testing? Oh, don't, don't worry about it, Cody. Uh, uh, it, it's all good. Uh, just uh, restart the server. Is, and is this pertaining... Is this pertaining to the battle practice? Uh, you, have just, a, you have a lag machine? I'm just strategizing, you know? Okay, okay. All right. Don't ask too many questions. Let me in. Interesting, guys. All right, the server's back up, and I log back in. And unlike before, the items and everything are gone. So essentially, I just caused a rollback. That makes this even more powerful because if I'm losing or something happened, I could do this and then I could revert time, go backwards in time, and then be like, hopefully, whatever bad thing happened to me will be erased. So at the start of the thing, I just need to plant as many melons as possible just so I have them in case I need them. That'll be the strategy. I, I checked in with Cody and Mike. I think I got it recorded. They both crashed. So it. It's not just me that crashes, it's everybody. That is amazing to know. Um, the cool thing about this though is, let me see, how far did it revert? Do I still have the melon? I do have the melon. But I mean, this is a great way to get items with this gap of the gathering. I mean, boom, look at that. That was just like five melons and we got wither leggings, obsidian nuggets, char we got like a bunch of different random items. So I can use it to get a bunch of random items during the battle as well. 
if I don't shift click and put a ton of melons. So if I like run low on something, I can try to use that to my advantage. It'll give me a ton of melons if I run out of food or whatever. So one of the most important things that I have to decide, guys, is which injection to go with. Um, I could use Thanos, the Symbiote, uh, Speed Force, or the Speed Force, which is somewhere else apparently. I thought this was it, but that's the Kree Hybrid. Blindness, Black Panther, we have all kinds of different ones. Super Soldier, but I really think I'm going to stick with the God of Thunder because it gives me a lot of health, which I absolutely want and then it also makes me stronger with my punches and stuff and i get the lightning abilities um i don't think i'm gonna be taking in one of his hammers though i don't need a hammer i have i'm gonna have the cloud pet for flight so i don't need the hammer for that and honestly the knight's guard's probably a better weapon or even just punching sometimes can be better because i can do that as fast as i want and so far we have four definite slots right now taken up for our hot bar we got the cloud pet knight's guard gaff of gathering and the infinity gauntlet the lead pet is a maybe i don't know if they're gonna try spawning in bosses to try to kill me but i can just keep that up here and then if they do i can bring it down and switch it up for something the juggernaut pet that's a maybe that's the one that gives me in the invulnerability for one minute and we're gonna have to do some more testing to figure out what else we're going to use I just remembered something. I have all these golden apples. Yes. Okay. And I do have some OP ones, I think, in my ender chest. I just don't remember. they got to be in one of these backpacks. Well, apparently I don't have any OP ones, but we'll just fill up our tech guns food inventory with all normal golden apples. I'm not sure if that will stack with the ability of... Well, I haven't showed you that yet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll wait to tell you about that, but I have an ability that also gives me an effect of golden apples All right. Well, apparently we do not have any OP golden apples like I thought um, That's okay. We'll just fill up our tech guns food inventory slot Which is right here with regular golden apples and I'm not too sure I have an ability that's also going to give me Absorption I'm not gonna show it to you right yet. I want to save that for the end of the episode but when we get fully decked out in our gear, but I don't know if like the golden apple effects gonna stack with what I'm trying to do But we'll use them anyways. There's no reason not to I have like so many golden apples in that ender chest What else can we do? We're going to need something that causes explosions and I do have a TFG Which if I search up, I'll show you what it looks like it's this guy right here, the TFG 10K, and it takes a nuclear power cell as ammo, and it causes one big massive explosion that's going to be crazy, and the thing is, I don't have any ammo for it, so it's going to be a one-hit wonder, just like the old Pokemon Stadium games. You remember that? I remember that. That's great. Oh, by the way, guys, this is totally off topic, but... I have down below, um, you probably noticed, there is a new channel, um, avatar or icon, whatever you want to call it, and let me know what you think about it. If you like it, I don't know. I, I'm like 50-50 if I like this one or the old one, um, or if you think I should get a new one that's different, let me know. Um, I don't know. Cody just wanted to mix them up a little bit, and I could go back to the old one if I want, or I could keep this, so let me know what you guys think about it. Now, guys, something else that's super important is we got to figure out what kind of ring we're going to have in our hot bar. We could also have multiple. Um, I already have one that's going in my offhand that I will show you later. But um, we have all these other ones, and we can have some of these in our inventory as well. They all do something different. So let's just take a quick look. Transforms llamas into rare emeralds. That's not really going to help us today. Oh, the rocket one. This is the one that shoots us high up into the sky really fast. Right click to teleport where you look at that sounds interesting right there actually if the knight's guard actually ends up being a great blade and not attack be able to attack players the end glopper could come in handy um yeah that that's pretty sweet right click to survive a fire as well so apparently it'll give me fire resistance don't know how far it'll let me teleport but this could be a very interesting whoa it's instant well this has to go with us 
for sure. One thousand percent. This is going in the hot bar. What? Are you kidding me? And it goes super far too. This is amazing. I am so excited to see this one. Look at my eyes, Gage. You can't remember chat. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so <laughs> oh boy, this is. <laughs> This is amazing. Oh, you see how fast I did that? Watch it. Boom. There we go. Oh, guys, we are here at the secret obsidian fortress known as the Dark Castle. Can it go through walls? Oh, no, it can't. I was hoping, like, it would let me go through the door. Now, the reason I came over here is we are going to be needing a certain type of liquid. We're definitely going to bring the shrink him particles with us. That way we can, after we lay out all our watermelons, we can switch, place down a bucket of, let's try out the end glopper. Whoa, Bastion. That, that was pretty nice. Bastion's attack is just so fast. It like kind of paralyzes you a little bit. Now, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the shrink pin particles. We will be able to use that in the Infinity Gauntlet after we place down all our melons. We will place down a bucket of shrink pin particles. We can switch to that. Um, we can copy it. And then we will be able to use that as one of our main <laughs> weapons. No! I'm an idiot. I meant to copy it, but I instead pasted what I had copied, which was a melon. Uh, well, we might as well use the gaff of the gathering. Watch us get the like most OP item from this and it ends up being the best mistake ever. And no, nope, we just got a blue barrel. Check that out. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, I do have more shrink pin particles, but I don't know where I put them. So we guess we're gonna go find them. What the heck are you? I have never seen you before. Well, hello there. What the heck is that thing? All right, we gotta kill this. Whoa, it, I thought I'd one hit one hit it for sure, but this thing has a lot of damage. What the heck? What the heck was that? Oh, uh, and we got Roadhog's scrap gun from that. Wow. Blessing of Arceus. Blessing of Arceus, a cherished relic from the divine Pokemon Arceus, showing the one who has proven themselves in battle. Kindred Legacy mod. I don't have that Arceus thing, so that's cool. All right. Well, I'm just super excited to see what strategies Cody and Mike are going to use. And <laughs> we should definitely make this like a monthly thing. Cody said he's having a special reward made. Like some sort of trophy that we'll be able to use. And the winner gets to take home. And every time we do another battle like that, we can bring it. And then the winner will get to take it home again. It's something that will just keep passing around to whoever's the best on the server at that time. I think it's going to be a great idea. Oh, and guys, I know I said I might stream it, and I was leaning towards yes, but I decided we're going to not stream it just because we are going to have a bunch of crashes from this, and crashes don't make good streams. Uh, it takes a while to boot back up and stuff, so it's going to be better as a video, but um, we will do a stream in the next few weeks. Don't worry. I just don't want to do uh, this big war. Which, by the way, we are calling the Scramble War. Just simple name. That's what you guys, most of you commented. So that's the one we're going with. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to tell you how to be the fan of the day for today's video. If you want to be the fan of the day, just comment down below. Hashtag Thursday. Because that's when the battle's going to be happening. And also, let me know who you think is going to come out victorious. I hope they better be prepared, man. If they're going to win, they're going to earn it, okay? I'm coming at them with everything I got. Speaking of which, I think it's about time we test out this knight's dart and see if it will kill Cody. Aha, we have a portal back to our base. Hey, Cody, I'm uh, just in your call real quick. You're not at your house, so I'm- Hey, crack it, get out of here. I'm gonna, oh no, oh no, I'm not supposed to be here. Crap, uh, uh, Cody? Yeah, you I You can't teleport to somebody unless you say, can I teleport to you? But you didn't tell me you were there. How would I know that? Kraken, I'm there. Well, come back to me. Come, t t teleport to me. How about, how about that? Oh, there you are. Okay, perfect. Um, does this hurt? Ow. Ow. You're, you're faking it. All right, that means I can't use this. Okay, good. Okay, we're, just, we're just strategizing, Cody, okay? <laughs> are you perfect? Oh, my God. I almost... Ow. Okay, I don't have armor on. Stop. Wait, no, it does hurt. 
I didn't think it would. I thought it was a great blood, so it wouldn't affect you. No, that's only in. Uh... Ow! Okay, you poisoned me. That poisons you. Good to. Okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. You're gonna uh, die. I totally forgot about the big war. You the war. The, 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 not like war, but like what are we calling it? The battle. Scramble uh, war. The scramble tournament. Scramble war. All right, the, the scramble war on Thursday. Thursday, Guys, Thursday, 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 Thursday. It's not going to be a live stream. It's going to be a video and it's going to be a really good video. So make sure you're there on Thursday. Oh my gosh. And also make sure you go to voidrat.com if you want the new Scramblecraft update to play all the superheroes. Hashtag no rules. There is no rules in this challenge, right? Uh, Kraken, so is that all you want to do? You want to test your abilities? Thanks for revealing that you have a poison weapon. I'll have anti-poison with me. There actually is an uh, AOA armor set that's anti-poison. I'll bring it with me. So, Cody, I was thinking, you know, um... No ransom pay! Oh, no ransom pay! Cody? What? I was thinking, uh... You know, originally I was thinking we should go far, far, far out in the overworld. And... So we didn't uh, attack each other's bases. Um, but now I'm kind of thinking maybe... Can you get, like, a super good backup? And then we can actually destroy each other's bases. And then we'll just revert back to the backup after. Because that would be kind of fun. So you're saying I want to be we... able to destroy your base and you want to be able to destroy my base. Let's be real. Did you just drink that? Uh, oh, that so you want me to take a... in the war. You want to be destructive and you want me to have a backup. I want it to be a true no rules war, Cody. I'm talking about nothing. Nothing's off limits. You want to crash the server, you crash the server. You want to blow up Cody's base, you blow up Cody's base. Everything you've ever dreamt of doing to my base in my stuff, you can do it. All right. I'll make sure I get the backup. There's going to be like several gigabytes. Dude, my base is so cool. So much cooler than your base. <laughs> it's also going to blow up. And it's going to be a lot cooler to watch yours blow up. That is probably true. All right, Kraken, scram. Stop taking intel and no more teleporting to people. They don't say you can teleport. Fine, fine. I'll go back home, okay? I'll go home. Guys, I can't believe he actually went for that. That means we can literally blow up each other's bases. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be awesome. <laughs> I need something to destroy Cody's base. What would be the best thing? Oh, my. Well, obviously, the Infinity Gun would be the best. I could turn everything to TNT. I could light it off. Oh, this changes everything. I'm going to need a TNT block. So I could use it for the Infinity Gauntlet. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And then we're also going to need to have a fire source. So I think, let me get my inventory sorted and I will be right back with you guys. I just need to plan it all out and then I will show you what we're going to be working with. I am feeling really good about all our strategies. Oh, this is going to be great. And the end glopper, I didn't know it poisoned people. It doesn't say anything about that. But it's good to know that it does. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. This is going to be amazing. All right, guys. I'm pretty much ready to show you what we're going to be working with. I just want you to notice somebody's using a default recipe scroll. There's 11 seconds left. 10, 9. That means they're trying to get some sort of item that they had all the materials to make defaultly. But not in Scramblecraft. Interesting. I haven't seen anybody use one of those before. I wonder what they're trying to make so let me show you what we have so far the top row is going to be all stuff that we're going to have in our hot bar the infinity gauntlet of course you know i don't have to explain that the end glopper because i think it's the better weapon with that poison versus the knight's guard i might start off with the knight's guard actually and then bring that out after we'll, we'll do that the ring of the blink that's the teleporting ring we're gonna have that of course water bucket now you might be asking why do i have a water bucket well, it's actually not going to be a water bucket. It is going to be a shrink pin particle bucket. I just had no empty buckets that I could find right away. So we're going to teleport to the penguin poops base. Because we're going to have to steal some of those shrink pin particles I put all over his place. Oh, oh he's right there. I see him on there. Perfect. Oh, he's good. He didn't get rid of all of it. Okay, so we need to come over here, take a bucket full. There we go. Now, we have it all. We got the TNT because we're going to blow some stuff up for sure. The Gap of the Gathering for the melons. 
My pulse rifle. I haven't got to use this in so long because the ammo has not been craftable and it's been annoying. But I do have a stack and a half that I've been saving for literally months. Probably six months I've been saving that. Um, this is the last of it though. So this is going to be all or nothing. We do also have the LMG which is going to be in our inventory along with all this stuff. As backup stuff when I need it. I'll pop it out. We got the MK50 Arc Reactor which is a full Iron Man suit right there. The Cloud Pet uh, to fly. And we are going to also have a pickaxe. The reason why I'm bringing a pickaxe is in case Cody tries something funky and tries encasing us in like obsidian, he's using another default recipe. Let's try to pop into his uh, Discord real quick. Maybe it's Cody. I understand. I you understand what, time. Cody? What do you understand? Do you see the boss bar? Yeah, I know you keep using a default recipe scroll, and I'm kind of concerned that you're planning something. Well, Kraken, I'm actually trying to fix something. So. Uh, you actually lost. I think it's this. I lost what? Uh, you lost something from me. My one of my chests with all my injections is deleted, <laughs> or shulker boxes. <laughs> yeah, so I lost all my injections. No, so no. I'm trying to get more regular injections back. What do you? I actually did that with the shrink pin particle. I'm sorry, dude. I didn't mean to. I think it was like right here. It, no, it's fine. I'm not holding it against you. It's it's like right here. It's whatever. I'm getting them back. You're getting them back? You don't touch that. Don't touch that. You touched it. And you stole the recipe, didn't you? I, I don't... What does it do? No, it's okay. It's just orange dye. Okay, now I'm going to put the regular injection right there. We got to get the, get out of here, Kraken. Extractor. Interesting. I've never done this before. Where's my infinity generators? Have you decided which injection you're going to use? Kraken, where's my infinity generators? Cody, I gave that to you. I don't have any infinity generators. Did you lose that infinity stone I gave you? No, I have the infinity stone. I just don't have the infinity generator. Well, well it's probably with the stone. No, I... What? No, it's back. Oh, this is confusing. Okay, maybe it's back over here. Uh, so, why are you here? Do you have a purpose? Oh, I had to steal something, but... uh, Yeah, bye! What did you steal? You know what? Actually, getting those pin particles made me realize something. Something very important. What if Cody's smart enough to bring pin particles with him? Those destroy people. They make them die so quickly unless you're what? Wearing Ant-Man's suit. So, I need to bring an Ant-Man suit. I need to bring a full one with one of the infinity chest plates on it. Oh my gosh. That would have been such a big mistake to leave you behind. We are going to bring not to tier one, not to tier two, because it's not full. It, it should be full. I had a full set of it. I don't know what I did with the extra pieces, but we're going to bring the tier three. Now I'm going to have to repair this, but luckily I have the Ring of Restoration, which works on armor pieces. It doesn't work on swords, or at least all the great swords I figured out. But it is a handy ring to have. Anything in my hotbar or inventory will slowly repair over time. Well, I think I've uh, made you guys wait long enough. Let's go back home and get the armor that is so overpowered that I'm talking about. I'm going to show you why it's so overpowered. It is amazing. It's literally, you're going to cry. I mean, some of you already know what I'm talking about if you've been watching the videos. And some, I'm sure some of you guys are Cody's spies that are going to tell him. But hopefully, it won't be in time before the war. Hey, 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 we're in my Spectre Dimension. Check it out. So I'm going to take off my Creeper Shield. <clears throat> I, I'm kidding, guys. I know it's not a Creeper Shield, but I didn't know that the other episode. For some reason, I kept calling it a Creeper Shield, but it's a zombie shield. <laughs> So thanks for making me realize how much of an idiot I am. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. I can't always be right. So the first thing that we have right here is the Gring of Vitality. This is going to be in our offhand. Check it out. It adds an extra bar of health. That's right. We have three and a half bars of health. But is that enough? Is that enough for the scramble war? I don't think it is. I think we're going to need more bars of health. Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? 
So end garment. We'll, we'll start with the Linda by boots. Okay, you know, they're fashionable. Nice. Okay, it's going to catch somebody on fire. Nice. Good to know. Well, let's just go ahead and put on, you know, end garment pants, why don't we? Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. They look nice, whatever. But look, look here. All right, the chest plate, the chest plate. Oh, that is some fashionable armor right there, boys and girls. But where the real magic comes in is when you put on the end garment helmet. An entire row of golden hearts. Baby, that is a total of one, two, three, four and a half rows of hearts. We are unstoppable, man. This is going to be unstoppable. Just like my music video, man. This is going to be crazy. This is, this is it. Now, the only thing I have to do is get this armor fully repaired. Oh, look. Did you just see that? The Ant-Man uh, helmet just jumped up a section. That means the ring is working. This is amazing. And <laughs> we are going to be so deadly. The interesting thing is the end garment. It's only the helmet. Like, I think I only have to be wearing the helmet and I still get the bonuses. So maybe I could wear two more armor pieces from a different set of the AOA. That's very interesting. Uh, I might bring some with me just in case. But that's something... Oh! They all do something different. So the chest plate's going to give me fire resistance. I didn't know that. Now what about the pants? So the pants, nothing happened. But if you put the chest plate on, look it. I get fire resistance. That is awesome. So now if Cody comes lava with his uh, infinity gauntlet. That's not going to affect us either. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you're excited as I am for this war. Remember, hashtag Thursday, and we will see you then for the Scramble Craft War. Let me know who's going to win down below. <laughs>